Do you ever wish you could have a life do-over, similar to a makeover or a house renovation? A chance to try something again with a different result? Try Again with Monique is a place where I will give you my take and also hear from you regarding the questions and challenges we all face in life. You will either be inspired to try life again, over and over again, or make some really good lemonade from those sour lemons. Either way, I got you. If at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique. So last week, I talked about learning to be content. If you haven't had a chance to listen to episode 14, I encourage you to go back and do so. I promise it will be worth your time. Today, I want to explore a question. And that is, are you a human being or a human doing? Are you a human being or a human doing? In order to adequately answer that question, we have to know the key difference between the two. I read somewhere that human doings believe that they must do things really well to be valued in our society and to value themselves. Human beings believe that their self-worth is defined by their values, their attitudes, and their beliefs. But we live in a society in a time that rewards overworking, not taking vacations, you know, climbing the social and career ladder, and generally being busy all the time. Furthermore, our minds are always actively working due to, you know, cell phones, iPads, computers, emails, texts, social media, and, and so on. So we're constantly moving physically and mentally. And if we're not careful, social media will will cause us to feel inadequate against the many images we are bombarded with on a daily basis of people posting their accomplishments and posting their accolades. When you meet people, they will often ask what you do for a living over asking what type of person you are. This places emphasis and value on what you do versus who you are human doing versus human being. I can think of many examples in American society where we place value and reward people for what they do versus who they are. I'm thinking of, you know, companies rewarding people who never miss a day of work or who have the highest earnings, kids graduating school who get rewarded for for the grades that they have, the high grades that they have. Social media posts are full of comments complimenting how someone looks or what clothes they have on. Job evaluations are activity-based. Parents tend to reward and applaud children for what they do. Now, I'm not saying that the examples mentioned are bad or that they should be done away with. I am saying they teach people that their value is based on what they do, not who they are. I understand you're paid to do a job, but what if you were also rewarded for being kind to your coworkers or your customers, not just for having the highest sales in a given time period? Wonder what the world would be like. Balance is what I'm suggesting between a human being and a human doing, making sure that you value who you are as much, if not more than what you do and teach others to do the same. I think we need to give ourselves permission to breathe, to pause, to rest, and not see it as laziness or being unproductive. There's a quote, I am a human being, not a human doing. It's okay to just be sometimes. I don't always have to be doing. There's another quote, I am a human being, not a human doing. Don't equate your self-worth with how well you do things in life. You aren't what you do. If you are what you do, then when you don't, you aren't. A little bit of a twist on words there, but I hope you get the point. If your value is based mostly or solely on what you do, what happens when you're, you aren't working at that job anymore? When you, you know, if you get demoted, if you end up an empty nester, if you have a health issue and you're unable to be as active as you were before, likely your self-esteem will suffer. And if you've trained the people around you to value only what you do, you could lose friends and relationships when you stop or are unable to be in a state of doing. Try to build relationships based on who you are and the people that you interact with are. The next time you give someone a compliment, think about their qualities, their unique personality and compliment that. Instead of, for example, saying, you know, I like how well you did this or that, maybe try, I like how generous or kind or empathetic you are. 
Take every opportunity going forward to perceive yourself and to relate to others as human beings, who you are versus human doing what you do. As I said in the very first episode of this podcast, you are worthy because you were born and because you exist. If you never do another thing or make another contribution to the world, you're still worthy because your value is based on your being, not your doing. Arm yourself with that truth and allow who you are to shine and be at the forefront of your life. Don't hide behind what you do. Let what you do reflect and emphasize who you are. As the earlier quote said, you aren't what you do. You are who you are. You are who God made, a human being who is worthy and valuable. I believe in our current state, we are humans becoming, not necessarily, you know, human beings, because we have yet to learn how to exist as humans. Uh, Our ability to see, express, and experience our humanity is, is often overshadowed by the things we do. Finally, I say, Live your best life, but do it as a human being, not a human doing. Bye for now. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Try Again with Monique. If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a moment to leave a review wherever you are listening. Please also remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes are available. New episodes will be posted weekly. Please also like and follow us on Facebook. Try Again with Monique is a production of GM Associates, released under Creative Common Attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 4.0 international license. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique.